I often hear the advice to gamblers of have a stop loss or leave when you lose and come back another time. This is nonsense. It makes no difference in the long run. These are psychological illusions. Every session is interconnected with the previous and the next session, no matter when it happens. So leaving the casino and coming back another day doesn't make any difference. Statistically, all your short sessions together are equal to one long session. Besides, it's unreasonable to say leave your casino when you lose, for example, 50% of your bankroll. Why take a bankroll with you in the first place if you plan to lose only 50% of it? Bring with you the money that is equal to your stop loss and lose it 100%. The use of a stop loss is, is like voodoo, pure superstition with no actual math to support it. long run. If we can win the short run again and again and again, you don't have to care too much about the long run, about what could happen after millions of billions of spins. After all, John Keynes once said, the long run is a misleading guide to current affairs. In the long run, we are all dead. Too many people dismiss any creative thinking about roulette on the basis that no system can win because the payout isn't fair, referring to the 2.7% house edge. Now they don't understand that the house edge is just part of the problem called roulette, not the answer. Imagine the engineer of the past to say that steel weighs more than air, so it's scientifically impossible to make a plane from steel that flies. So that's good math, but bad problem solving. They just don't understand that the mathematics that describe the problem are not the answer to the problem. There are many people who understand mathematics, but are unable of creative thinking. They hide behind well-known equations that have nothing new or interesting to offer. Mathematician Nicholas Tlaib once said that mathematics is principally a tool to mediate rather than to compute. Yet very often mathematics are used by many as a reason to not think. They give you a false sense of security, and knowing to compute does not mean you understand or have everything under control. Feeling too sure and taking an equation as gospel can prevent you from thinking creatively and taking the step forward. Roulette is endless, and there's much more to it than a few probability equations. You have not learned everything there is to learn. Be humble and stay always a student, and then you may find a way to win. Is there a winning roulette strategy? This is the question. The problem is that most people define a winning system as a system that can produce consistent profits every single time, given any possible series of spin outcomes. They want easy and sure profits. They want proof and consistency and certainty. Well, they won't get any. There is no such system. In what other aspect of your life can you expect 100% certainty? Your health, your wife, your profession, your soccer team, Yet you require absolutely provable certainty from the random game of roulette. This is ridiculous. You live in a life in which nothing, nothing is certain. At the same time, you dismiss any roulette approach that isn't a 100% foolproof, consistent winner. If you had the same requirements of safety in any other endeavor of your life, you'd be considered a psycho. Still, you have the nerve to ask for assurance in roulette. Making money has nothing to do with safety. There's no 100% guarantee that a business will make money, though that's no reason to not start a business. The point is, something being uncertain does not mean it is not likely. Stop having unrealistic expectations. Quit looking for a free meal.
Study, think, test, be creative, and take your risks. Stop asking for profits without risk. They do not exist, neither in roulette nor anywhere else. Start looking for profits by knowingly taking risks. Randomness is a confusing word because we use it differently in everyday life and roulette. In everyday life, a random event is an unpredicted, unexpected, unusual event. For example, meeting someone unexpectedly or winning the lottery or a flat tire or a lucky shot. By this definition, roulette is not a random game because in roulette, we have very specific expectations. Every single number has exactly the same chance. And in the long run, the results will conform to these expectations. You can't call this random, at least not in the way we usually use the word. So you're a gambler, right? Because so am I. Well, let me tell you, there's a classic question. Does roulette have memory? This is as silly as asking, does Earth have eyes? Because if Earth doesn't have eyes, how does it know where we are in order to apply its gravitational force to us? Roulette has no memory, but like Earth, it has no laws to obey. Following these laws, Roulette takes into account previous outcomes in order to conform with probabilistic expectations in the long run. Roulette may have no hands, but it somehow puts the ball in specific numbers in order to achieve that confirmation. And Roulette may have no ass, but it can give you a lot of shit. So stop asking if Roulette has a memory. The immodesty of gambling. One of the reasons that gamblers lose more often than they win is that there is some amount of arrogance embedded in every gambling activity. Gambling is based on the notion that randomness or luck or fate will eventually, sooner rather than later, will come in your favour. This mentality is a show of arrogance and ingratitude because luck has been already in your favor since you are alive and have been the lotto winner of the millions of sperm that tried to impregnate your mother. You are lucky beyond measure just to be alive. Furthermore, gambling is an arrogant activity because you dare challenge randomness. You must be stupid not to see that luck, the big unpredictable, is powerful and beyond anyone's control. Physical phenomena, life-changing events, Biological, char biological characteristics. Almost everything of importance is dependent on luck. Yet you try to beat the master of the universe in the controlled environment of a casino in a seemingly simple and understandable game called roulette. What a recreant fool you are. You deserve to lose because knowingly or not, you lack the modesty, the respect, and the awe of the deeply self-conscious player. Unpredictability, roulette, versus life. It seems strange, but roulette, with all its deviations, all its unpredictability, and the house advantage, overall is much more fair, stable, and predictable than any other endeavor in life. Roulette is actually much more predictable than life itself. System Evaluation don't get excited or disappointed too easily by a strategy. A system that won is not necessarily a winning system. And a system that lost is not necessarily a losing system. Test again and again before drawing conclusions. Yeah. Yeah, very interesting, huh? What? What? Oh, hello friends. Dr. Einstein here at your service. You know, friends, I have done lots of the calculations to try to figure out why we lose when we play roulette. Yeah, you know, I play a little roulette myself from time to time. Well, just the other day, I was... Oh, I am sorry, I digress. Now, listen, anyway, I have studied these and... Let me tell you, I have them written down right here in my notebook. Let me show this with you, shall I? All right, good. Now, let me get this just right. The physics of roulette. Now, here is the code right here. Huh? That's the formula. And, uh, you know, I'm sure this is just second nature to most of you. Yeah? Now, here are the probabilities of winning at the roulette. Huh? P, 
B times one, huh? What is the end? There you go, yeah? No, no cosine here, yeah? Okay. And the average expectation and the house edge. Very important to understand the house always wins, yeah? <laughs> This is the formula here. Now, as you can see, it is always playing in the direction of the house. But, do you know that what I have found by doing all this studying here, the reason that you lose and I lose at roulette is simply a thing called variance. Yeah, variance is another name for bad streaks. Oh, we all get these bad streaks. Now, groups of numbers unexpectedly go missing for extended periods of time. Now, if you have the answer to this question, then you will have a winning system, yeah? They say that successful gamblers are very disciplined people. But this is not completely true. I guess that the most successful roulette player is not an extremely disciplined person. At least not in the same way that a blackjack player is. It just goes with the game. There are times that even the disciplined roulette player will improvise. And maybe these little improvisations can make or break the player. And maybe he becomes better and better at it as one learns and gains more experiences until they look up and look as wonderful as a ballet improvisation. If this was useful to you, please don't forget to subscribe, share and like our video. Now, maybe it's time to get your play to the next level with the great strategies you will find in our site or watch another one of our videos.